question, the Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, again to the Premier. Today's Auditor General report showed a real state of affairs, a sad state of affairs, on this government's stewardship of the environment. Under the Liberals, Ontario lost an average of 1,825 hectares of wetlands per year. And the wetlands that do remain have very little, if any, protection. Now, now, nearly half of southern Ontario's remaining wetlands are at risk of being lost, with no requirements for wetland evaluation before land use changes. To the Premier, what does this government have against wetlands? Seriously, what do they have against them? Mr. Gatch, Resources and Forestry. Mr. Speaker, and thanks for the question. You know, the, the other side likes to talk about what could happen, might happen, maybe happen. I'll tell you what will happen. We're going to continue to protect wetlands here in Ontario. We're going to continue to protect those wetlands. We've got a plan, Mr. Speaker. We've got a plan to build 1.5 million homes in this province over the next 10 years and keep a robust ecological footprint. Home builders will still go through a process. Species at risk, there's legislation to cover that. Wetlands are disappearing. We've heard that. We've got an opportunity to not only preserve them, but expand them. And a plan to do that as well. So, Mr. Speaker, don't believe the hype, Mr. Speaker. Wetlands are here to stay in Ontario. Order. Supplementary question. That was pretty amazing. Um, speaker, again to the Premier. Order. The auditor found that along the Niagara Escarpment, there is no environmental monitoring because there are no staff. Reports of violations, including high-risk incidents of construction of buildings, have gone unenforced. And nearly all development permit applications have been approved in the past five years, even when they went against the Niagara Escarpment plan. Speaker, why isn't the Premier doing anything to protect the Niagara Escarpment? Of natural resources and forestry. Well, Mr. Spe uh, Mr. Speaker, thanks again uh, uh, to the member opposite for the question. Uh, the Niagara Escarpment is an arm's length body that uh, does great work, Mr. Speaker, and we know the Niagara Escarpment is a beautiful and wonderful area in Ontario that we want to protect. We've got feedback from the Escarpment folks all the time and talk with them constantly about uh, what can be done to make things better. We'll continue to speak with them, but again, they're their own body. They make their own decisions, and we respect those decisions. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And the final supplementary. Speaker, how is it in just a few short weeks we've seen this government attack the Greenbelt, yeah. conservation authorities, farmland, wetlands, and do nothing to protect the Niagara Escarpment? And today, the auditor found that the province is missing in action on addressing urban flooding risks. There is no coordinated approach, no effort to protect against the loss of green space, and basically, basically nothing to address aging stormwater infrastructure. All all while this government strips revenue from municipalities and the effects of climate change are felt more every year. Why isn't this government doing more to protect homeowners from the devastating impact of flooding? Mr. Natural Resources and Forestry. Thanks again, Mr. Speaker, and thanks for the question. You know, flooding is something I've lived personally in my community. Members will recall before I got here that my community suffered two very significant floods, and that's why I was so excited, Mr. Speaker, to see the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry over the years step up their game. Go to Water Street, Mr. Speaker. Go to Water Street and see the facilities that are there to ensure that Ontarians are protected against flooding. It is amazing. They're doing an amazing job. Conservation authorities work we're asking them to focus on flooding and hazard lands to keep people safe. That's the focus and the priority. Build homes, keep people safe, build Ontario. That's what we're going to do. 